Hello everyone. So we are at an e-commerce conference and well, first things that I obviously like is that until now we we're, were in there here for an hour. 50% of the speakers is Dutch, so that's already a great start. Um, even a better start, like I said, e-commerce conference. Uh, we're an hour in, I'm, an, I'm the first male on stage, and that doesn't really happen often, so my compliments to the organization and the speakers uh, for doing that, that's really good. Um, so A-B testing, um, that's something I do, and something I, I do a lot. Um, and a lot of people test color buttons, and I have a pet peeve with that, and uh, I'm gonna tell you about that uh, today. So I'm fascinated by the human brain and um, uh, the behavior that we all that that flows from that, and I'm fascinated by uh, validating changes that we make on our on our commerce store specifically. Um, and in my customer journey, I made a lot of uh, mistakes, um, a lot of mistakes. Um, and when you start measuring everything you change on your website, you figure out that you you might be really bad at changing things on your website just by doing that based on assumptions. Uh, I was a perfectionist, got way too scientific uh, about it. I mean, I studied psychology, there's a lot of statistical courses in there, and I brought that to, to the business. Doesn't It helps, definitely. It doesn't always work if you get too scientific about it. Uh, we're all trying to run a business here. Um, forgetting about the stakeholders, uh, like the details a bit too much. Um, and I felt a lot of my people in zero and conversion rate optimization also do this. Um, and you might recognize this, so that's, uh, that's why I'm here to help you that, with that. Uh, so let's talk about that. Uh, I'm a psychologist after all, so let's, uh, let's do that. Um, you're not here because of me, but to give you some context about why I'm uh, standing here on stage. Uh, like I said, my background's in, uh, in psychology, applied cognitive psychology, basically making things more user-friendly. Um, and applied that to e-commerce for the past uh, 15 years. Um, and um, yeah, only e-commerce and, and currently working at uh, an uh, e-commerce vendor, actually, uh, Spryker, and uh, I'll have, I only have one slide about Spryker, don't worry. So a question for you. Um, who here works at a company that does A-B testing? Doesn't have to be yourself. Oh, that's nice. It's like. 10, 20 percent ish. That's way better than uh, when I did this presentation in uh, in London uh, three weeks ago. Only one hand went up, so uh, you, <laughs> you guys are already ahead of uh, the UK. So that's really nice. Um, and of those people, who is doing A/B testing themselves? Okay, nice. So why think bigger? I think uh, in the industry we're trying to get way too granular. Like I said, testing color buttons. Uh, I think we need to go uh, beyond that. Um, an unfortunate side effect of the industry that we have with uh, Shiro, um, what, uh, what Micah already mentioned, is uh, the, the, the dark patterns that sometimes uh, arise from this. Uh, it's not something uh, that you want to end up uh, with. Uh, but the running experiment in general is not necessarily a bad thing. So why bigger? Let's, so when we talk about small versus big, let's, let's see what we're talking about. When I talk about small changes, it's just changing one thing on the, uh, on the website. So, um, like I said, uh, changing a color button, it can be changing a text, it can be changing your header, your logos, uh, uh, like trust icons, uh, that, kind of, uh, that, that kind of things. Uh, it can be the pricing on your website, just one element. The other end of the spectrum uh, are the bigger, uh, bigger tests where you just test the whole landing page. And both have value, right? For causal effect, you want to know, you want to go granular, but for a big impact on your business, you actually might want to go uh, the other route. There's also an intermediary variant called uh, multivariate testing. Uh, we're not going to talk about those uh, today. We're going to skip that. The, the statistics for those are actually way worse. I did some uh, meta research. I took uh, around uh, uh, 420 experiments. Uh, it's a public database that you can only uh, use on uh, goodui.org. Um, of those experiments, I looked at the small versus the big. And when we look at the small experiments, so those minor changes, uh, the median uh, uplift is 4.3% of your business. If you go big, um, that might also 
uh, go bigger for the results. If my clicker is still working. To charge it, yes. So for the whole landing page changes, for example, uh, it goes up to 15%. So from a business perspective, of course, that's way more interesting. Again, if you're A-B testing, you want to know why things happen, and that's much harder to answer. But from a business perspective, those big experiments uh, might be way more interesting. So I need to get a bit technical here. There's only two slides. Uh, but let's, let's do a calc simple calculation uh, for the small experiments versus uh, the big experiments, how much time they will uh, cost. So when we put in those numbers, 4.3%, we need a sample size of over 160,000 people for each variant of your test to go through. So th those are the people on your, you need to have on your website for each variant. If you go big, like the 15%, you only need 13,000 people on your website to test this. And if we plug those numbers in uh, to a nice graph, uh, the duration of those tests, the, uh, of one big A-B test, you need 27,000 people. And for the same effect with three tests, you need almost a million people in your test. And to visualize that, that just takes a lot longer. So I want to make a case for uh, not necessarily only, do, only doing a, a big A-B test, but uh, combining those. So decrease time, increase impact um, uh, of your test. And this is great for small businesses. Um, you need this lower traffic requirements there. There's a higher upside for this. Uh, so that um, is really nice. Oh. Sure. What's up? If it's, yeah? You want me, you want me to walk around more? <laughs> I can do that. Um, that's better. So, and, and time is, as a business, time is your most valuable resource. Uh, you need to make sure uh, to, to be iterating faster and faster. So make sure to combine those big and small uh, tests here. Um, so the second part, um, talking about those, those big experiments. Um, so how does that work? It, it's still tricky to do. Um, this is an example from, uh, from Amazon, uh, which you see here what they changed, A versus B. And it didn't work out for them. Version B was rejected. Same with Netflix. They made a lot of changes in this A-B test. You see they changed a lot. They changed almost everything from this base page. Version B rejected. So what you need to do if you want to be successful with this is make sure that the things you change on that page, which is a lot, which is like five, six, seven, 20 things, that they all have possible probabilities. But yeah, how do you get there? Um, some ways to get there. Uh, you could, should combine small and bigger tests. Uh, you should run uh, the small test for cause and effect. You, sh you should run the bigger test uh, for the big, uh, big impact. And you can do this to, uh, by applying patterns that worked before. Um, some of my colleagues uh, don't necessarily like this, but uh, basically best practices applying that. Um, like I said, goodui.org, I'm, I'm not paid by them, but it's a really good re resource if you're doing this uh, to find patterns. Uh, and they, they check uh, like the big websites like Amazon and Net, uh, uh, Netflix for this. And uh, practitioners in the fields add uh, more and more uh, examples to their, to their database. The second thing that you need to do is extrapolate your own successful experiments. Uh, make sure to collect them. Uh, I don't care if it's Excel or uh, Airtable or effective experiments. There are different tools that do this that can help you uh, make sure that you collect the data and s start seeing the patterns uh, in your own data uh, with your, uh, your actual customers. So this is an example of a customer that, uh, that did this. Uh, a versus B. Um, uh, Thomasnet.com, uh, um, they, they provide financial services. Um, that's 70% uplift in sign -ups. Just a simple sign-up page, not e-commerce. Uh, well, they call it e-commerce. It's not e-commerce. It's not selling anything. It's a, it's a sign-up form. Um, Kensington Tours, similar thing. A-B test, it changed a lot of things. Again, not something that uh, a lot of A-B test practitioners like to do. Uh, we like to know why things happen. But also, if you do this uh, from a business perspective, uh, it's really nice to do this. So these are just, just some examples. So for cause and effect, small learnings for big impact, uh, make sure to still run those uh, big experiments. And then my final part three is that I would like to um, 
challenge you to go beyond that. Go beyond those bigger tests, because usually what you see with A-B testing and then running experiments is limited to whatever happens in the front end. That's nice, but it's only one part of your business. What if you go can go beyond that? There are a lot of things happening in e-commerce. Um, a lot of, if, if you have a modular system, a lot of modules that you have in here. Um, mailing and communication, checkout, your CMS, the ratings and reviews that you use. You may, you may have a, a plugin doing that. You may have a search engine on your websites. What if you can experiment with that? And I'm not saying that you, I don't know, with the search engine, change the word in the, in the search engine or change the algorithm of that, that search engine. No, what if you could uh, A-B test search engine against search engine? Uh, Algolia against Elasticsearch. Uh, if you can uh, set MailChimp against another um, email program. Um, I want to challenge you to, to, do, to, do think, uh, to think about those uh, experiments. Um, go, go bigger than, than just the front end. You'll do your business a big favor by applying that knowledge that you have of Xero uh, to all those other parts of, of the business. And this is my only slide about uh, Spryker. We're not an A-B testing tool, not at all. We're just, uh, or just an e-commerce platform um, uh, focused on so uh, building uh, sophisticated business models or enabling uh, sophisticated business models for B2B, B2C, and, and marketplaces. Uh, and we have this completely modular, or what Gartner says, uh, composable uh, commerce um, with package business capabilities that you can just turn on and off uh, whatever you like. And you can have your own modules in there and A-B test them uh, against each other. So that's really great. If you want to know more about this, uh, I do also, also have a podcast, a uh, different guest each week. It's called uh, Shiro Cafe. Uh, it's not in, in, in Greek yet, but if, uh, and if there are any volunteers of making a Greek podcast on Shiro Cafe, uh, it's already in English, Spanish, Dutch, and uh, German is uh, starting next week. So if we have volunteers for that, uh, let me know. Uh, then we might uh, be able to start a uh, Greek version. So coming back to my opening slide, can I never test A-B test button colors? So it wouldn't be my first thing, but I, I once worked at Randstad. Uh, some of you might know this company. Um, you, you can apply for a job on my websites. And uh, when I just started out there, they, they just implemented this new style on their website with these kind of buttons, uh, which are known as ghost buttons, because the, there's, no, there's no color in those buttons. There's just a small line outlining them. And I already knew this, this is not a great idea. <laughs> uh, and we did some uh, user testing. And people just don't see this button as a button. It's, it's, if, if you want people to click a button, please don't create a ghost button. Um, Similar thing here. It's a bit better because the color stands out, uh, but this will give you a much higher conversion. So yes, you can test, <laughs> you can test um, buttons, but um, only when that's really bad and it's probably not going to be the biggest gain that you are going to get uh, uh, with, for your company. Thank you very much. Slides are uh, online uh, with that QR code, and I hope to talk to you here soon. <laughs>